Arr. No, there's no way. None at all. Ugh. To hard mode. Arr. Oh, God. <laughs> this is going to be so bad. Uh, um, yeah. I'll, oh. <laughs> okay, that was me almost throwing up right there. Yep. <clears throat> I don't understand how you can eat this cat. Oh. So bad. So very, very, very bad. Um Welcome to hard mode. That was punishment number one. This is punishment number two. This is punishment number three. Mustache of shame. Now let's do some push-ups. Yar, now let's play some binge games. <laughs> oh, I gotta get rid of this cat food. <laughs> Ah. Nope. Okay, so depth perception is already a problem. <sighs> okay, guys. Uh, hi. Welcome back to hard mode. We're going to do this um, with the hook at hand controlling. I'm going to try and give you as much of a, <laughs> a viewpoint on that as I can here. So, uh, okay. So pressing the run button is going to be extremely important for this section of the game. Oh, I'm scratching the crap out of my controller. Okay. Yar, hook it hand controller. Welcome to hard mode, eh? Do pirates say A? Pirates don't say A. <laughs> uh, welcome to hard mode, guys. This is, uh, I apologize if it seems a little slow moving. Turns out hook it hand controlling. Extremely difficult. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to wait for a couple of these robots to go by. My depth perception is not going to aid me in this whole endeavor here. Uh, but I believe all we need to do is go down the uh, the pathway here, and we should end up about where we want to be. So, there we go. Okay, so we got the chest. That's really all we wanted out of that, because we already moved the things. So what we're going to do is go down to where the, uh, the things were here. And I'm already lost, as usual. Okay, so we're going to go down this way, and this should be exactly where we need to go here. That's where we move the blocks, and then this way, right here, gets us into this. Okay, X. So we got a bolt sword. We're going to put that on Chrono if I can navigate the controls here. There we go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Guess what doesn't make for good television? Uh, struggling with the basic controls of the game because you're playing with a hanger. Hi, <laughs> Okay, so hook at hand controller. There we go. Let's just uh, get on the... The PC here. Last defense. Arr! Last defense lock code. Code name Zaby. Translation XABY. Don't you know? That's XABY. My my pirate. He went all mid Midwestern Minnesotan there for a, for a moment. Don't don't worry. The the Minnesotans had pirates as well. Oh, <laughs> controller's falling out of my hand here. Uh. So I actually had company over today doing this, believe it or not. Uh, if, if you can <laughs> understand how awkward it is to go lock yourself in a separate room uh, with a pirate costume, then, then you have a fairly good idea of where I'm at, I think. Uh, meanwhile, I'm getting lost once more because playing with a pirate patch, turns out, makes uh, places that aren't mazes into mazes. <laughs> Hang on, i got to arrange my, my patch here without losing an eye. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go back up and out here. And, uh, and, and move up a, a level. Oh, there we go. Yar, me, me pirate patch be causing all sorts of issues. 
from depth perception on down, with my hook at hand cr creating even more problems. Okay, so here we go, and we get a nice little <laughs> save point, thankfully. So let's uh, let, let's go ahead and let's see if we need a shelter here. I apologize that uh, my slow, uh, with my slow mo movement, but you know, I, I feel like I have a pretty good excuse here. If you can see just how hard it is to navigate. Uh, so we're actually looking pretty good, although we do need, we're going to use the shelter here just because uh, I know that Robo needs uh, his MP, as does Chrono. Chrono really needs it more than Robo at this point here. So there we go. Let's do that. And then we're going to save a little bit. And I can already tell, if you see jump cuts throughout this video, there's a very good reason you're seeing, there's a, there be a very good reason you're seeing jump cuts. It's, it's because <laughs> I'm struggling with the controls. <laughs> And, and it, it don't make for good television. Oh, okay, they're chasing me. But they aren't actually able to catch me, so that's good to know. Um, that being said, I can't actually activate the uh, screen until I kill these guys. So this is actually a mandatory combat, then. Ma it, it be a mandatory combat, don't you know? Okay, we're going to just mash X, because I, I really doubt my ability to do much more beyond that. <laughs> We be just mashing the X button. R, don't you know? With the acid and the alkaline, if you let them mix, then bad things are sure to happen to you. We got 123 and 3 tech points and 100 gold that we can't use. If you uh, raise your hand if you've ever heard a worse pirate accent, open the hatch! Okay. We be going down the staircase. And through the hallway where where we hit a thing that we weren't supposed to hit because we aren't supposed to get in the combats. So that's what what, what be known as a punishment. <laughs> Mashing the X with the hooked hand is it 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 be difficult ever since I lost my me right hand. Me right hand man, as some say. For me it's just me right hand. <laughs> I've lost I've lost me wit to cat food and and pirate accents. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know if that was mandatory or not. We're going to have to look into that here. Uh, it would not amaze me if we ended up with another one here, because uh, apparently pirate handling is, is about as difficult as it is through a mirror. <laughs> and my uh, it, my controller is never going to recover from this whole endeavor. Okay. So we're actually going to... We actually be needing to hit the alkaline, see, because... If they if they be combining, then bad things be happening to all of us. Yar, yar. Now it's just me and the acid, but not not in the way you're thinking. Like like the way you're thinking, where where a man would have to be on acid in order to in order to play like like a pirate so badly. Okay. Yeah, we're, we be going up here so we can turn off some lasers. But we got a Titan vest. We're going to wait in the Titan vest because any any time we be going to the menu, bad things be happening. Still, at least the robot can type. Yar, turn it, turn off the lasers, Robo. All systems down. The defense lasers are off. I don't know that I can do a robot pirate. I'm, I'm going to try, though. Again, this is a mandatory combat. I only say that because we've already done two here. Okay, so we're actually going to need to do uh, some some crazy things here. So we're actually going to try and cyclone, but you really have to be going quick in order to do it here. You don't use the laser spin, however, because Robo, uh, it, they're actually immune to anything besides... They be immune to anything besides physical. It's just the physical damage that be uh, hurting them. Nope, okay. We want to cyclone. Cyc we be wanting to cyclone. It's the only proper move that be fitting be be fitting the situation. Yar, now it's just us down to the alkaline. There there be just one left. There only be room for the one of us. <laughs> I I don't know that I've ever actually felt stranger than I do right now, trying to max an X button with a hanger. While desperately failing at uh, any kind of pirate accent. <laughs> All right, let's go see what's over in this, uh, in this 
chest here. Okay, so we got the hammer arm and the titan vest. We're gonna we're gonna throw some things on some people here because uh, we're definitely gonna need the help going forward. So let's let's Chrono as always is our go-to guy when it comes to this kind of thing. And then we're gonna go down to Robo and give him his hammer arm as well. Um, I don't believe that we have any kind of no, we don't have any kind of helmet to put on people. So people's heads are just getting neglected here. Uh, there we go. Let's smash the uh, circle button there. And then the lasers are off, so we can come down this way to uh, to this place here. And I believe that will let us go. All right, now we be going down a level, so we can for forward the plot. See. There we be with the plot. We're gonna go up the side so we don't trigger any unnecessary combat. Because unlike most pirates, combat be not what we be seeing to see fit to be and do. Alright, so now we got a little bit of a now we got a little bit of a quandary on our hands. The door lock systems A B is operational. All we have to do is enter the password C, but we don't actually know what buttons are which, so we're gonna go with the X, A, B, Y. There we be. We got the door open first try, see? I don't know why me pirate rhymes. Yar, we be setting off alarms. <laughs> I can't tell if this is funny or it's the most intolerable thing I've ever done. <laughs> Okay, here's our here's our attempt at robot pirate here. Emergency security system has gone haywire. Must escape immediately. That's worse than my actual robot voice <laughs> by a large amount, I'd say. <laughs> ah, yar, we be we barely made it through that one. Oh, the robot be helping us. The hurry now. Yar! Oh, wow. Robo barely made it out of that one. I bet you the elevators are, are misoperating, so we're gonna be taking the stairs, Yar! Yar, see. As we, as we be going up, up the, the, the thingy. Yar, there be robots here. These, these are my friends, R64Y, R67Y, and R69Y, it's good to see you, as I bow repeatedly. What, what are you doing? You are defective. You have been tainted. Pardon. My multiple robots all sound the same, but they're actually each individual robots. I'm malfunctioning. Affirmative. A defect. I'm a defect. Have you forgotten our mission? All intruders must be eliminated. That, that was my purpose. You shame us. You must be destroyed. See, this is, this is actually, it, it's hard for me because this, this is actually, it's a really sad moment in this game and I'm sitting here dressed like a pirate. Robo? Chrono, Robo's getting whipped. It's, it's actually, it's really sad. Like I'm, I'm not sure if I'm crying behind my pirate patch because I remember how I felt like when I was as a kid, or just because I have a pirate patch like directly on my eyeball. It it could really go either way. Please stop. Please. I'm, I'm not even lying. Like I'm really sad right now. This ripped my heart up as a kid, man. It still does to this day. It's just. You feel for this this robot you just met that doesn't that doesn't have any feelings except for he does. That's why you're sad. <sighs> okay, this is gonna be really hard, and we're probably gonna die. <laughs> Robo, now to take care of the intruders. You cocky boxes of bolts! You'll never get away with this. Okay, I'm gonna take a moment here because we, we really gotta start cycloning these guys and also healing like immediately. Uh, so we got everybody at full health because of the shelter, so that's gonna help us out immensely here. So the, the key is to cyclone an entire row with Chrono and then really you wanna just be using Marl to heal uh, so you don't die. That's that's gonna be 
That'd be kinda mandatory, the not dying. Meanwhile, all the robots be hitting us, see. I, me be not able to see because of all of the, the, the pirate patching. Okay, so we're gonna, we're, Chrono's really the key, so we're, we're, we're gonna keep him alive more than anything else. And then we got a, we, we got a second cyclone off on the robot sea, so all this line of robots be no more. Yar. Meanwhile, the robots start doing some stuff that hurts more, see? <laughs> okay, here we go. With the cyclone. And really, more than anything else, this just, hangar's just slowing us down, man. Okay, and heal the healer. Although Chrono actually got hurt more here, so that may have been a bad choice. We, not, we might actually end up having to aura world. Because they end up hurting both of us with this toss back and forth. They be tossing us back and forth, see? And, and it hurt. It hurt quite a bit. Because they each take turns. And, and it, 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 it's not good. Okay, so we're actually going to wait for Marl here. She's, she's going to heal herself, but we're really going to have to our world to make sure that everybody lives. So, let's see if we end up getting to the right place, see? Yar, that hurt. He's almost dead, but I think we got the R world off in time. R. I don't think when people were coming up with punishments, they understood quite how bad my pirate accent be. <laughs> I think we'll all be happy when the episode is over and I'm no longer trying to struggle through with it. Okay, so we get one last Cyclone in here, I believe. And that should be everything. Just in case it's not, though, we're gonna Aura Chrono. Yar, he be spinning our bouts as, as fierce as could be. To get all the robots out, out of the way. We got 480 experience points and 600 gold. It's Chrono's level up and Marl's level up. Robo? They trashed him. Yar, to be be true, you, you, the truth you're speaking. What, what should we do? Robo just got creamed. Chrono, let's take him back to Luca. Yar, we be dragging the robot across the future wasteland, see? I was thinking about this earlier today. You end up with a lot of weapons in the future that don't make any sense. Like, I understand. We got the auto gun for Luca in, in the thing. I don't know if you saw it or not, but... We also got, like, the Robin Bow, which A is just kind of like a weird name, but B, like, who goes to the far future to get a crossbow? What is that about? Sorry. Back back to the story here. C can you re repair me? Only if I can press the X button. Shh, don't talk. Just, just no more pirate voices. <laughs> you are trying to save our world. I, I don't know how far we'll get, but that's the plan. Anyway, Robot, what are you going to do when you're repaired? What am I going to do? Yeah, I mean, what, what plans do you have for the future, you know? Luca, no one has ever asked me that before. This is another one that really got me. It, like, it, 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 it really personifies the robot, even past that moment of you feeling really, really bad when he gets the crap kicked out of him. He's just... Nobody's ever asked the robot what he, what he wants to do with his life, you know? Good morning. Robo, you're all right. Yay! Luca, you're incredible. I hope I never have to do that again. Luca, I have made up my mind. I want to go with you. Pardon? There is nothing left for me here. Together, maybe we can give this planet of ours a chance. Then let's go. The gate's up ahead. Woo! <laughs> oh, okay. Hang on to your shorts. Yo ho yo ho Okay, uh I'm putting down the controller here. <laughs> Robo's asking where we are, and I have similar feelings. I can't feel my left eyeball <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Uh, we owe some punishments, so I'll see you in that video. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with our mode, guys. Yar. Two pirate islands. 
Hey guys, and thanks for sticking with Chrono Trigger Hard Mode. Uh, that was an adventure, although it turns out after a little bit of review for an amateur viewer like myself, not enough of an adventure because I actually forgot that I was supposed to have an ice cube on top of my head. So you will be seeing that punishment next time in addition to what we roll here with the brand new 2D12 of punishment Whew, ridiculousness that is this. You might notice that the numbering is a little weird. It's because if you roll two dice, the dice, the numbers in the middle are more common than the numbers on the edges. Uh, for those of you that play crafts, that's pretty decent knowledge. The only difference is we're using 2d12 instead of 2d6 in this thing. Uh, so that's what's going on there. So without further ado, let us go ahead and roll some punishments here. So the first one here, we have a 7 and a 9 with, with some Quick math, it looks like a 16, which is ice cube head melting. Um, again, so that's, a uh, wow, fortuitous. So, yeah, I guess for that one, we're going to do double the ice cubes here. I might, I'll, I'll probably go quadruple the ice cubes, actually. So that'll be interesting. I'm going to have to come up with some contraption to kind of keep the ice cubes on my head here. That'll be strange and wondrous. And then one more here, we got a 6 and 11 for 17, which is, for the first time ever, a shot of water with cayenne pepper in it. So you will have uh, all of that to look forward to, some sort of ice cube contraption on my head with all the ice that I can safely load into it, and uh, we'll get a little bit of hot in there with the cold with the cayenne pepper as well. So... We will see you guys on Sunday this time, rather than the Tuesday, but it'll be next Sunday, Sunday, Sunday.